Hello everyone, I am Shreya, a member of Pigeon Letter Design Team. I am a full-time artist, art educator, YouTuber and Skillshare teacher from India. And today we will be painting a beautiful mushroom illustration using none other than watercolors. So get excited, grab all your materials and let's get started. So before we start, let me walk you through all the materials that you will need for today's class. Firstly, let's talk about the paper. Here I'll be using 25% cotton 300 GSM cold pressed watercolor paper. You can use any watercolor paper you have with you. Next, you will need round brushes. Here I'll be using size 2, size 6 and 1 liner brush to do all the details. As we are painting on a smaller size paper, this number of painting brush would be enough. Next up, you will need a pencil and eraser to sketch down your mushrooms. Then you will need a jar of clean water to reactivate your paint and mix the colors. Then a tissue paper, a black pen to do the final details at the end and watercolors. You don't need the exact colors which I'll be using right now. You can use any color of your choice. All right, so we already know all the art supplies which we'll be using for the class. Now let's get into the sketching part. So my main aim for this illustration was that I will have a bigger mushroom at the center and surrounding that I will draw smaller and different kinds of mushrooms but the main focus of my painting would be on the middle and a bigger one which will grab all the attention to the painting all right so here I am drawing the bigger one right in the middle of the paper if you don't like this shapes of mushroom which I'll be drawing right now, you can always change a little bit here and there if you want because mushrooms are of n number of ty types and n number of sizes. So you can always have fun with the shapes and the size of the mushroom if you want. I felt like the stem of the mushroom was quite thin compared to the main body which I realized by the end of the painting. So if you are painting the same one, I would suggest you to draw a thicker stem. Alright, now let's just draw others mushroom here and there. I will also keep on changing the directions of the mushroom to keep it more lively and happy. So right now I am pretty happy with how my composition is looking but the only thing which is that I, the middle portion of the painting is looking quite empty so I will draw one tiny little mushroom on the top and 
then we will start with the painting part. Like I said before, I want the center mushroom to be the main element of our painting. So I will paint that mushroom quite bright. So here I'll be using Indian yellow, deep yellow and a little bit of Gorakanon gold to paint this one. So I will again start with the lightest value of the yellow and while I'm painting, I will keep on changing the color and mixing it while the color is still wet. So first I used Indian yellow because it is quite a bright yellow color. And then I added a little bit of deep yellow. And now lastly, at the ends, I'm adding Kanakadan gold and just blending it together. In case you don't have these colors, you can start with the lemon yellow, cadmium yellow and to your cadmium yellow, you can add a little bit of burnt sienna to get the similar color and you can use those three combinations to paint your mushroom. Again, if you don't want to paint your mushroom yellow, you can paint it red because that will also grab the attention. Alright, so now I'm taking a darker color and I'm just adding a bit of texture on the right end of the mushroom and then we will let it completely dry. Once that is dry, we will paint more and more layers on top of it. So while that is drying, I'm painting the bottom of the mushrooms with the buff titanium and i will add a little bit of yellow and a little bit of brown to the same mix to make it a little duller and i will paint the stem of the mushrooms as well so here we will draw the top end of the stem a little bit darker because that's where the shadow of the mushroom is hitting and as we go downwards i will dilute it with water So now while that is drying, let's move on to another mushroom. So I will paint this one in the bright red color. Again, painting the whole mushroom with one color and then I will add a little bit of darker color on the top to give a little bit of shadow as well as depth to the mushroom. And the same way I will paint all the other mushrooms. The only thing is I will keep on changing the color. Like this time I used the darker blue color to paint the mushroom. And instead of using indigo or even darker blue, I just added a little bit of Persian green on the top to create the bit of interest in our mushroom. And I will paint all the similar mushrooms using the same color and same technique so you don't necessarily have to use the darker color to create the depth you can also change a little bit of color in the same family or in the same color family to create a little bit of interest in your painting if you didn't know already i am using pigeon letters wooden handle synthetic brush which is 
beautiful as it has a really fine tip at the end which makes working on a smaller part of the painting so 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 easy and i love this brushes as firstly because they are cruelty free secondly i love the wooden handle and thirdly because they hold their shape so well and that working on a smaller object as well as on a larger object is quite easy all right once we have done the blue mushrooms i will paint the smaller one at the bottom with the same color which we used earlier for our main mushrooms that is different kinds of yellows once that is done we will move on to the tiny little mushroom which is on the right and here i am painting it with a very dull green so to make your green a little duller you need to add a little bit of burnt umber to your green and you will get the exact same color next i am using a sky blue color to paint the mushroom you can use cerulean blue ultramarine blue any kind of bright blue you have with you and lastly for the last mushroom i will paint it with a very light value of red pink color like i said before i am not stressing a lot on what kind of color i am using because you don't need the exact same colors to paint this mushroom you can paint with any color of your choice you can also switch up to some different kinds of color or you can use the similar color to paint all right so just have fun exploring the different shapes and colors while you paint this so while i was talking about that i colored the stems of all the mushrooms with different kinds of blues red and brown so once we have done the first layer of all the mushrooms i am switching to my small round brush and we will start to adding a little bit of texture on the mushroom to create a bit of interest so here i took granacoril gold and i'm using the smaller brush that is size 2 and i have started creating small and larger drops on the top of the main mushrooms once that is done i will add a little bit of darker brown color and i will start adding the shadow on top of it and the same way we will create a little bit of texture at the bottom as well so here i'm taking buff titanium and dark brown mix and i will start adding tiny little dots at the bottom of the mushroom as well as same way we will create a little bit of texture on the stem as well but this time instead of creating the dots i will create a tiny little rectangle using the same color but i just diluted it a little by adding a bit of water In the same way i will paint the smaller mushroom at the bottom
Next, let's add little bit of dimension and texture to the other mushroom. This time, instead of drawing the dots, I am adding lines from the top to the bottom. Again, use the smallest kind of brush which you have so that painting the small, small lines would be much more easier. Same way, we will start adding a little bit of texture on all the mushrooms. Sometimes we will draw lines, sometimes we will just use the darker value and paint the smaller dots on top of it. So once we have added all the textures on top of the mushroom, let's add a little bit of shadow on the stems as well. So here I'm using a little bit of darker blue color and I'm drawing a line on the left hand side of the stem. Same way I will paint other stems just using a darker value of the base color to paint it. And I'm pretty happy with how my illustration has turned out. Now let's move on to the final details of our painting. What I'll do is I will start adding a little bit of leaves and bushes around the bottom part of the mushroom. Here I'm using my brush to directly do it. If you are not comfortable using your brush directly, you can always sketch it out with the pencil if you want but i am pretty confident doing it without the pencil sketch so i'm doing it with my brush directly so i'll keep on changing the shades of greens and i will start adding the bushes at the bottom and small small leaves and on the top Now let's paint the ground of the mushroom. So I will use different shades of greens to paint it. So first I am using a dull looking green color. Then the portion green. And lastly I will use a little bit of brown and bright green color at the bottom. Now that everything has dried on top of the mushroom, I am switching to my liner brush and adding the tiny little dots using the darkest value. Don't overdo this step otherwise it would look a lot busy. I am adding 
very very tiny little dots and very little of that to two different mushrooms i will not do this step through all of our mushrooms i will do it for some as the main focus of our painting was the middle mushroom we will be adding a lot more details on that mushroom and the rest of the mushroom we will not add it a lot Once I've added details on top of the mushroom, I will add more details at the bushes. So this time I will use darker value of greens and I will paint the same bushes at the bottom but using darker green color. Also remember not to cover the whole of the bushes which you have painted earlier with the darker green color otherwise there is no point in layering a lot so be sure that you don't do that just add a little bit here and there and lastly i'm darkening the stem of the mushrooms which i left earlier on the right hand side now let's do the final part so here i'm taking a black pen you can use any black pen you have just make sure that you're using a waterproof one so that it doesn't spread in case you drop water or anything on top of it so i will just outline all the mushrooms with the black pen again not being very specific with the lines i'm making crooked lines to make it look much more natural because that's how I like to outline anything I paint so here I'll be doing the same thing that is drawing the lines in a crooked line form same way I will draw the lines of the bushes and the trees or the stem which we have drawn earlier you will see that some lines would be outside the subject and this is exactly what I like and it looks so much more fun and interesting at the end so you can do that as well and that's all i hope you enjoyed painting along with me and you had a little bit of fun with the subject so do let me know down below and also let me know what you would like to see next on this page and yeah this is how our final work is looking beautiful right so i'm really excited to see all of your work so if you do paint then do let me know by tagging me and by tagging pigeon letters and yeah i'll see you guys really really soon in the next video bye